Hi everyone, I'm Jordan and I'm part of Dunfermline West Baptist Church and I've got this opportunity to share with you guys my testimony of how I came to believe in Christ and have faith in Him. I um, should probably start at the beginning of lockdown which is really where it kicked off for me. Uh, when lockdown happened a lot of things got taken from me that I felt like I deserved. You know, I was going to the gym all the time and I was going out partying with my friends and when lockdown happened and it went on for three, four, five months, I was thinking, how could the government take all this from me? And how could someone else tell me how to live my life? And I was really looking for a way to disconnect from everything. And I reached out to Buddhism. I read a book called The Art of Happiness, which is about the Dalai Lama. And I was reaching out to that because I wanted to find a way where I could be happy with nothing, where I could just be totally happy if I had nothing, if I was in a room alone, and it was just dark and I had no friends, no family, I could still experience some form of happiness. And I got into meditation and got into looking into Buddhism and all that and eventually turned away from that, turned towards work ethic, turned towards discipline and a mindset that says, oh, I'm a savage and I work harder than everyone else type of thing. And I kept turning to these different things and none of them really ended up fulfilling me None of them worked. They all, they all worked on a human practical level, <clears throat> but they didn't work to really give me anything more than that. Uh, when I was being super disciplined and working out all the time and I was going on runs all the time to try and get away from the world and I was putting so much work into myself and meeting goals and anytime I wouldn't meet one of those goals, if I fell a little bit short, which is every minute of every day, you your value sort of depletes and I was putting all my value in whether or not I could run like four miles in a certain time or whether or not I could perform a certain way at my job and anytime I couldn't do that that value would just be gone and I would have some sort of mental breakdown and it didn't help that I was doing so much activity that the dopamine was just kicking off in my body all the time I was getting so much dopamine from going out partying from working out like every day genuinely two three times a day just trying to escape the world through like my body and in the meantime i was reading the bible but i was reading it again on this practical level of trying to get practical help from it trying to find the ways in which the bible could help me practically in my life and help me be a better person and achieve more things and get away as well get away from lockdown get away from all the things that's happened over the last few years and then I just had this one night where I was listening to a lecture, it was by Frank Turek, and he was giving evidence for the resurrection of Jesus. And I watched only a couple minutes and I turned it off and I was terrified, I pulled the covers over my head and didn't want to think about it. But I just had that question of what if, like what if that actually did happen? What if the same way we know Julius Caesar existed, the same way we know what happened in history, what if what happened with Jesus actually happened in history and that that was a pivotal moment that was accurately recorded. And then that one question of what if just spawned in me this weeks and months of mulling over debates and mulling over the arguments and the evidence and getting more into the Bible. And then there was this sort of intercession between the emotions that I'd been experiencing over the last year with reaching out to these different things that weren't working and then the intellectual coming together to where I just had this moment where I thought, this is the truth, I can't escape this anymore, there's no way I can run from the truth, I've got the evidence right here, there's enough of it to know what reality is, there's enough of it to know that a guy raised from the dead who claimed to be God actually existed and actually done the things that he done. And then when that moment happened, I'd kind of been hearing about repentance and what you need to do to be saved. I didn't really know what I needed to do, but I knew that I had to do something. I knew that I had to have a moment. And so I just sat down. I thought about the things that I'd done wrong in my life, um, the pleasures that I probably shouldn't have been doing that I kept coming back to, the people that I'd hurt, and the lies that I'd told and how destructive they would be and they were. And I just asked Jesus to save me from that. And I had this moment where I wasn't expecting it, but I just burst out crying and I couldn't stop crying as I was writing all this. And as I was thinking about all this, and then 
you know, the stars didn't part, there wasn't some magic spark or anything, but from that moment, there was an instantaneous change in the things that I wanted to do with my life. Uh, I no longer wanted to watch certain things. I no longer wanted to go out partying. I no longer wanted to think about things in a certain way. And those changes just keep happening in my life where my desires are constantly changing in ways that I never thought they would change. But there was that instantaneous change where I just became a totally new person from that moment. And I think from this, if I want anyone to get anything out of this, it's just the question of what if that actually happened? Like you've probably heard about Jesus and I heard about him growing up, but I didn't grow up in a Christian home. And you've probably heard about his resurrection and what he did, but knowing the way I was, it's probably at a point where you think that it's just some mystical story or it's just something that sounds nice, that helps people. But truly, if you think to yourself, what if this actually happened? That one question can just set you on a path that you never thought you'd be on. And I hope that people watching this get set on that same path that I went on and hope my friends and my family uh, who might be hearing this for the first time actually get to see what happened that led me to believe in this. So thank you guys. So hello everyone, my name's Anthony and I'm the pastor at Dunfermline West Baptist Church where we've had a privilege of just coming alongside Jordan who during the lockdown had professed his faith in Jesus Christ. And today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be following in Jesus' footsteps who Jesus, we learn in the Bible, had went and had been baptised even though he didn't necessarily need to, but he thought it was really important to set an example for his followers. Jesus, in many respects, initiated this rite of passage that Christians across the centuries have all continued to show their own declaration in believing that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Another rite of passage, which we would probably find all of us more familiar with, would be marriage. And in many respects, when we're getting baptised, it's about dedicating our lives to following Jesus, to developing a real and meaningful relationship with him. And I'd hope that over time, if for some of us this is a bit, oh, I don't know what's going on here. To be honest, it's more of a time will show you exactly what happened here, because we will all be praying that we will all notice a transformation in Jordan's life as he continues to follow Jesus. So just before we go in and we do the baptism and before Jordan completely freezes <laughs> while standing here, Jordan's just going to now just make a declaration of his faith before the church. So Jordan, do you believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit? I do. Yeah, this is the God that I trust. Do you confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour? I do. He's redeemed me and called me by name. Do you turn from sin, renounce evil and intend to follow Christ? I do. Christ is my way, he is the truth and now he is my life. Will you live within the fellowship of the church and will you serve Jesus Christ in the world? With the Spirit's help this will be my witness. Great. Jordan did have a choice of getting baptised in the warmth inside. <laughs> And um, when he heard that outside was a possibility, that was it, he was, he was set on it. Good. After you've been baptised, what will happen is I'll just pray over Jordan and hopefully he won't get too cold. And then when we come onto the beach, then we're just gonna allow people just to pray over Jordan. And um, then after that, please do just offer your congratulations, ask him how it was or, or whatever it is. Okay. Yeah. 